Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today we have two brands coming out with launches soon. And instead of just doing Instagram story reviews, I figured I had the time, let's just do a little combined review. So we have the Paragon Prism launch happening on February 6th, and that is happening at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Then we have the Petula Play and Rest launch happening on Saturday, February 10th at 12 p.m. Eastern. So I do have the discount codes for you guys for both of these brands. For Paragon, I have 10% off with code Catherine, and Petula is a 5% off also with code Catherine. Since the Paragon launch is happening first, let's start with those. If you guys have followed along my Instagram stories, Paragon started sending me some stuff when they had the Des B collab because I know Des and she wanted me to try those. And then they kind of have just been sending me launches after that. They did recently have an animal print launched, which featured a lot of their Reluna fabric. I was posting little updates on my Instagram stories. So again, if you are a follower of my Instagram stories, you will know. But I just was not a huge fan of that fabric. I just felt like it was kind of saggy for lack of a better word just didn't really hold up and i love a naked feel fabric i really do but it still has to like hold on to you a little bit i just wasn't really feeling it with that fabric this launch does have some pieces in the reluna fabric which i will still be reviewing because we didn't really have a place of that on the channel but we also have more of the rec stretch in the sculpt seam plus which is my favorite combo also the colors of this collection are just exactly my cup of tea. I love a good purple. I love a light baby blue. And then we have navy to kind of create a little tonal vibe. So let's start out with the leggings that I like the most first. So these are the Rec Stretch Levitate Sculpt Seam Plus leggings. So I loved the Sculpt Seam Plus from the Paragon Des B collab, but I like these even more. Some of the features that I didn't love from them in the Des B collab, they have now fixed. So first of all, this is the Rec Stretch fabric, which is a performance material. It's, I wouldn't say it's like the most high impact performance material I've ever tried but you're kind of balancing having a very lightweight stretchy fabric and having performance material. And I have worn all of my pairs to the gym or on my Peloton and I have washed them and they're all holding up well so far. But this fabric is lightweight, super stretchy and a little bit on the cooler sleek side. So here's an up close of the fabric. They all have no front seam, no top band. And this one has this little double waistband seam, which a lot of you guys were saying in my Instagram DMs, kind of giving Gymshark Whitney Simmons, which I agree, but I like the back even more. That double seam goes into one seam, which then kind of contours around the glutes here. And then we have the Sculpt Seam Plus. So side by side, we have the Sculpt Seam Plus, which definitely shows a lot more scrunchiness when I'm just holding it up, but you don't really see that scrunchiness when you're wearing it. And then the original Sculpt Seam, it has that elastic up the back rise, but it isn't scrunchy at all. We'll get into it later, but I prefer the Sculpt Seam Plus. Anyways, these do have an elastic in that back rise to really give you some glute separation. And these are honestly so flattering. They stayed up so well at the gym. Like I said, I already wore and washed all of my pairs and I'm gonna wear them again this week because I really enjoyed them. Some tonal branding as well. And if you remembered from my Desby Paragon review, I didn't like that it had a raw edge at the bottom. Just don't really love a raw edge. And these actually have a real hem at the bottom. Let's try this on. Okay, here are the Sculpt Seam Plus. These still have a light compression, like very naked feel, but they just have more to them than the Reluna fabric. Like the waistband, I actually do feel some hold, some compression, but it's not squeezing me. And the body of the leggings, it just kind of contours to all of the curves. So super flattering, super comfy, but also still very lightweight. The only thing is light colors, definitely would stick to nude underwear on these. But personally, I have no issue with the nude underwear. I don't feel like I'm seeing any of that through. Anyways, we have a high rise. We have that kind of double waistband here. No front seam. We do have a little triangle gusset there. Tons of stretch to these. I honestly don't feel any tightness in any of my movements. And then the back, these are definitely a high on the booty scale. These seams that kind of converge into one down here, super flattering. The Sculpt Seam Plus just has a little extra oomph to it that the regular Sculpt Seam does not have. It stays up, kind of giving you some glute separation the whole time. It never comes out. These leggings in general have stayed up really well for me at the gym, so... I just absolutely love what these are doing. If you've been wanting something that's flattering on the glutes, but it's not like a seamless legging, like an Amplify or an Alphalete Amplify type legging, I highly recommend these. There's only two pairs of leggings that at the gym 
Ian has told me these make your butt. Well, actually, he, you know, he always compliments me, but you know what I mean? He's like, no, these are like 10 out of 10 on the glutes. It's Alpha Light Amplifies and these. But both times I wore the Sculpting Plus, he was like, what brand are those? Because those are really good. Honestly, I agree. And they have been super comfortable at the gym too. The only drawback of this thin fabric is, is that you're just not going to get any cellulite coverage out of these. And then here is the full length view. Heading kind of just above the ankle for me. Again, I like that we have the real seam at the bottom now. But yeah, I've just been super happy with these and I'm a big fan, I think you guys would like them too. Another thing to note about this Sculpt Seam Plus is because this fabric is so stretchy, even though we have that scrunch in the back, I don't feel any tightness in the front. So sometimes with a scrunch, it can lead to a little, you know, front tension, but that's not something I get with these because the fabric has so much stretch and is so lightweight. It just doesn't really pull in that way for me. Then there are a couple tops and bras. This is my favorite of the tops. This is the Rec Stretch Legend Brahmi, and this is the color Violet Sky. So this is the Rec Stretch, which means it goes with the Sculpting Plus leggings. All of the colors are pretty similar enough that you can mix and match the fabrics, but I just prefer this fabric. We have a V-neck, spaghetti straps that taper in the back, tonal branding. This is a Brahmi, so it's like a super cropped, it looks just like a bra, but the actual shelf bra and liner inside is separate. I would love to see Paragon just come out with kind of slightly more high impact bras. Like I'm not talking like, you know, I'm not talking like running bras, you know, but just like, isn't that a little more high impact because both of the bras today are very spaghetti strapped, low impact. And I prefer to see like bras instead of Brammies, just personally. Brammy, Brammy, I never know how to say it. Another thing I don't love about the Paragon bras is the cup pads. And I will show you with the next bra. Just the cup pads are just, they're just not it. Okay, so this is my favorite of the bras. I think partially just because I like the shape a little more, but also the fabric I just like a lot better. I just feel like the Rec Stretch has more like rebound to it. So this is technically a Brahmi. As you can see, there is that sports bra lining on the inside and then the fabric lays over the top. So instead of having a clear seam cut off between like the bust area and the long line section, like the Reluna bra, this one is a little bit more seamless, but as you can see with the length, it's still very short. I still would consider it more of a sports bra. Coverage is pretty similar though. I would still go low to medium. It's a pretty deep V. I did occasionally get a little bit of spillage out of this one, but I still do feel covered enough to wear it to the gym. The straps on this one are super comfortable. I find the Reluna ones to be a little bit more stiff. And these straps are just a little bit thicker, got a lot of stretch to them, so very comfortable. The straps do go over the traps and then converge in the back. Still a lot of room for the lats down there. And this one I also find very true to size, very stretchy. If you're in between, you can really go either way. And support is still pretty light support. Is it wearable to the gym for me? Yes, but I wouldn't do really any high impact activity. If I had to choose a top thick bra, this would be the one. Still could use a little bit more coverage, but overall it works for me. This is the Reluna double strap bra in the color Crescent Moon, another beautiful color. So this is made of that Reluna fabric. So almost like a little bit less supportive just in the fabric wise than the Rec Stretch, but this is the only true bra. The other one's kind of a brammy. I feel like it kind of fits like a bra. Anyways, we have a scoop neck. This is a long line bra. There is an actual elastic down in there, which isn't my favorite way to do this, but the elastic does provide a little bit of support. The straps are just up and down. And then we get into the cup pads. I think a really nice cup pad can work really well, but this is just not the way to do it. Just not a big fan of these. I even take out my cup pads before putting the sports bra in the wash so they don't get all crinkled. And these ones were like already pre-crinkled because they're just kind of thin. And like this shape just doesn't really work for me. I like like an oval cut pad, like Buff Bunny, they have the best cut pads. And just not a big fan of this. So if I had one critique for Paragon, I feel like I'm really starting to love their Sculpt Scene Plus leggings, but I think the bras still have a way to go. All right, here's the bra. And it's comfy, it works, but definitely have some critiques with it. First of all, I definitely think it's a little bit more aimed towards smaller cup sizes. The bust space here, is pretty similar to the long line space. I would have liked to see a little bit more cup space and a little bit less long line space, just so we have a little bit more room for the girls because I'm definitely squeezing out a little bit at the top there. I did wear this to the gym and I wasn't necessarily falling out of it or at risk for any like gym wardrobe malfunctions, but I would definitely feel more comfortable with more bus space. Overall, the coverage I would say is 
a low to medium and the support is light to medium. Because the long line section is so low, you actually have a good amount of torso coverage and say pretty minimal skin showing, especially because I have a long torso. For some people, this might go kind of meet and greet length. I also appreciate that the straps are up and down. They still stayed up really well for me, but if you're someone who just doesn't like their straps kind of going over your traps up there, cutting into them, it's nice that these are straight up and down. You can also see the Reluna fabric matches the rec stretch very well. And then in the back, this is what we got. Um, I do feel a little bit of snugness in the band right there. So if you are in between, I definitely would choose the size up. And yeah, I like the bra because I have the full set, but the bra itself is just not really doing anything special for me. We also have rec stretch sculpt seam plus shorts. So I measure about a four and a half inch inseam on the shorts. Generally, I prefer a little bit longer, but I have been wearing short shorts just in my little Peloton rides that I've been doing occasionally. Exact same details as the leggings, just in short form. Got that sculpt seam scrunch in the back, super flattering. Let's try it on. All right, sculpt seam shorts, basically all the same features as the leggings. High on the booty scale, we have light compression. These are about a four and a half inch inseam. So could be a little bit longer for me. I would love to see them start coming out with some longer lengths, but I will say this fabric is super stretchy and the seam is very stretchy as well. So I'm not getting any cutting into the thighs, but I do experience some rolling in these just because of the length. If you like a shorter short though, I am a big fan of these. Just keep in mind whenever you have a scrunch and you kind of pull some fabric up the glutes, you do lose a little bit of the length. So these really fit almost more like a three and a half inch inseam for me. And then this outfit I think is my favorite, just the little color combo of like the lilac and the deeper purple, love a tonal. Then we have the Rec Stretch Classic Crop. This is also in the color Horizon. I also really like that one of my critiques was in the Des B collection. I didn't feel like I could mix and match all of the colors, but this collection, you definitely can mix and match the purple, the blue. It all just goes very well together. So I thought this was just going to be a tank, but it surprised me that it was actually a built-in bra top. So we do have a shelf liner with cut pads inside. This one is made out of the Rec Stretch and just a classic kind of full coverage tank, obviously not full length. Okay, and here's the top. Again, in terms of the two more full coverage tops, I definitely would go with this one. Kind of depends like what you're looking for. The other one is just a long sleeve with no built-in bra, but I just love the material on this one. Love that we do have the built-in bra, just so it makes life easy. The tank straps do come in a little bit here. We have a little slightly scooped crew neck. Coverage, I would still say full coverage. Support is really light to medium. This fabric just doesn't have a lot of hold to it, so you're never gonna get a ton of support. It is fairly cropped, I'd say no longer than any of the sports bras. And then the back is full coverage as well. Not much going on there. This one is true to size. I would just stick with your normal sports bra size. If you're in between, you could really go either way. Next, we have the Reluna Original Sculpt Seam Leggings in the color Galaxy. So every time I wore the Reluna Sculpt Seams in those animal prints, they felt like they fit me, but the fabric just had so little hold that it just would slide down. And I think that Reluna must have been the original fabric I tried the sculpt seam in because when I first tried the sculpt seams like a year ago, loved the concept of it. I felt like they were doing a really good job of the hidden scrunch that not a lot of brands were really taking on at that point. But the fabric, like I wore those out to play pickleball one time and my leggings were never even close to my crotch. Like I kept pulling them up and it was honestly like embarrassing how much they were falling down. Even though they didn't really feel big, I did decide to size down to an extra small for these just to see if it helps. But the Reluna fabric, it honestly doesn't really look or feel too brushed, but it does have a slightly softer hand feel than the Rec Stretch. It's less cool to the touch, more of a soft feel, but again, not really in your face fuzzy brushed. Here's the fabric close up and we see we have that tonal branding, contoured seams in the back, and we have the elastic in the back rise. All right, here are the leggings in the extra small. And they did feel a little bit snug to get on. So there is definitely an end point to this stretch at some point. I, I feel like this is going to stay up better than the small. So I do like the size down in this case, but I still think overall, I just don't really truly recommend the regular sculpt seams. I'm all about the sculpt seam plus. Everything I don't like about these, those have. I still do feel like these would kind of slide down over time. I've just never really had a fabric like this. Like I'm all about a naked feel fabric, but for some reason this fabric is like, it's not just naked feel. Like it's not like a naked feel like an Alphalete Aura, a Buff Bunny Butter, or a Petula Bear, or something like that, but that still like hugs and contours all the curves. It's just not really doing that, so. 
not a big fan of the Reluna for that reason. I will say I do like the nice thick waistband we have here. It gives you good tummy control. I mean, it would give you good tummy control if it had a little bit more hold to it. They still get a medium to high on the booty scale just because they're not quite as good as the Sculpting Plus. Since this fabric is so thin, I really don't expect a lot of cellulite coverage really. Seems to go above the glutes. You can see we get like a little bit of glute separation, but it's not a ton in these. Overall, very light compression. And here's the full length view. Inseam will be listed at the end. And lastly, we have the Reluna long sleeve crop in the color galaxy. This one is truly just a top. There is no built in shelf liner. So you will have to wear a bra under this for any support. Full long sleeves, crew neck and crop length. All right, here is the long sleeve top. Honestly, I feel like this fabric does well for tops because it is so lightweight and stretchy. Just not the best for bottoms. Anyways, it's a long sleeve. There's no thumb holes or anything, which is a little bit of a bummer. I feel like that would have been nice to have. We have a crew neck that's not too close to the neck. It does scoop out a little bit. The length is cropped, but it goes right over the length of the long line sports bra. So still a decent length, but you will be showing some skin. Here's it with the arms raised up. It's honestly very plain, nothing special. I don't know if I know the pricing on this, but personally I probably wouldn't spend too much on it just because it is so plain and basic. And in terms of sizing, um, I would probably size up if in between because it is pretty snug as is in a size small. All right, we are moving on to the Petula Play and Rest collection. This is not activewear, it's strictly a lifestyle and lounge. And you guys know, Petula, they just know how to do a lounge fabric. They know how to do fabrics in general. Like if you are looking for incredibly soft fabrics, good quality pieces, Petula has not let me down. I, and I recently said in my best activewear of the year video that I was looking for more straight and wide leg lounge pants this year. And what does Petula do for the first launch of the year? They come out with the best flowy wide leg lounge pant. I have worn it every single day since I got them. So these are the soft lounge rib wide leg pants and they come in two lengths. They come in a 29 inch and a 31 inch inseam. As a tall girly, I normally go for like a 33 to 34 inch inseam in my flare leggings. But because these are so like slouchy and wide leg, these are actually plenty long for me. You'll see in the try on, sometimes I'm even kind of stepping on them a little bit. So tall girlies, you will be totally fine with the 31. I got a size small, but I'm actually requesting an extra small. But sometimes Petula runs a little bit big. They try to go for that oversized look. And I just feel like it was almost a little bit a little bit too oversized for me. Like I could have done a little bit smaller because these are not only already super wide leg, but they also have a ton of stretch to them. So I felt like they would still be comfortable and spacious in my size down. Anyways, it's made of this rayon spandex material. It's a stretchy, almost like sweater-like rib. If you're looking for a more like lightweight lounge pant, these still give me like the warmth of a pant, but they're not like a thick, heavy fleece, which as someone who lives in a warmer climate, this is perfect for me. The inside also is a little bit more brushed and fun fuzzy, super soft. So here's the outside. We have that cozy rib and the inside has a little bit of extra fuzziness to it. They have an elastic waistband with a drawstring. They do have front pockets. They're kind of sewn to the outside of the pant. And you can see just how wide leg and flowy these are. I already know these are going to be like one of my most worn pieces of this entire year. These are coming in four colors. We have this light gray, dark gray, a lighter mauve, and then a hot pink. Okay, so starting out with the pants, we can see in the size small before I tie the waistband, they sit kind of low on the hips. And because of this, if you're gonna wear them like this, lots of extra length because the crotch is like down here. If that's your vibe, you can wear them like this. Part of the reason why I am waiting on an extra small is just so that this sits naturally just a little bit higher without me having to tie the waistband, but it is definitely possible to tie that waist and get a little more of a high rise there. So now this hits me at the belly button. We have these spacious front pockets and the crotch sits a little bit higher, but it's still not like a tight sweatpant. Like these are definitely going to be a loose loungy vibe. All right, so here is a full length view of the pants. Um, as you can see, even though these are only labeled as a 31 inch inseam, they're plenty long for my 5'9 self. So I definitely would say tall girl friendly, but I'd say if you're anywhere from 5'7 or below, I would honestly go with the shorter version because these just seem to be so much longer than they're labeled just because of the way that they fit. So anyways, we have a ton of space in the pants. They are super flowy, just lightweight, soft, stretchy, and super comfy. They have been holding up to lounging you know it doesn't sound like lounging you'd have to hold out too but 
when you have cats, you know, their nails dig into things and I have not experienced any pulls or anything like that in the fabric. So I would say size down in these, super comfy, highly recommend. All right, here are the extra smalls. As you can see, even without the waistband tied, they're sitting naturally at a higher point on my waist. So already I think definitely sizing down is my recommendation. I still have a lot of good flow to these. It's not quite as like saggy in the back area, but you can still see I still have a lot of room in the legs. So still plenty of space. Do you wanna say hi? Yeah. The only difference is these are just a little bit shorter in the length just because they are sitting up a little higher on me but you can see they're still plenty long for my tall self so yes definitely preferring the extra small it's still not even tight at anywhere it's still oversized it's still loose just a little bit less oversized then my favorite combo with the pants is to pair it with the soft lounge v-neck ribbed long sleeve so this is a more snug fit so if you do want a little bit more of a loungy top vibe i would size up but we have this nice v-neck we have the stretchy lounge material super long sleeves and this is a full length top all right here is the top so it is a full length that goes over the waistband of the pants when i'm wearing them you know tied at the waist and this is the size small definitely snug in the bust area for me snug on the sleeves a little bit of room in the waist here but if you really want a loungy kind of flowy top size up one to two sizes i personally find this size very comfortable the fabric is super soft and stretchy also i apologize for like the leaf blowers outside they're being really loud today and it's kind of annoying the sleeves are super like it's giving me 2010 like Abercrombie sleeve vibes. If you ever wore like a long sleeve Abercrombie shirt at that time, you know they always made like super long sleeves. It's kind of giving that, but I, I kind of like it for a lounge. V-neck in the front and very simple in the back. I love this set together, so cozy. I've also been wearing these pants with the Petula Flow crop, which you guys know, one of my all time favorite tops. I did not like it when I first got it. I wear it like almost every single day for lounge. Just so cozy. Next we have the soft lounge ribbed bralette and I just had to take advantage of the hot pink because I noticed I recently color coded all of my activewear and I don't have a single pink patula piece. Very happy to see pink here. So this is made of the same material, that stretchy rib. This is a bralette and there are no space for cut pads and there are no cut pads. So just keep it in mind. It's more of a loungy vibe. We have tank straps, a scoop, almost V style neck long line and a scoop back. Okay, here is the bralette. Um, I actually feel like it has pretty good room for the girls. It just had a little extra fabric for a little space here. So I definitely feel covered up. This is also the shape of bralette where I don't feel like I'm gonna fall out of it if I lay on my side. If you've ever had like a triangle bralette, I don't know, for me, for my bust shape, we just fall right out of it. So I'm liking this shape as well. It's soft, true to size, true to your Petula sports bra size. Long line here for a little extra coverage. Um, there's no cup pads or anything. So, I mean, this is a lounge piece meant to be worn at home, but nippage could definitely be an issue. Fabric is pretty thin, not thin enough to see any color through, but definitely some texture, if you know what I mean. And then we have a simple scoop back. I think this set would be super cozy as like a little PJ sleep set. If we had to rate the coverage, I would say medium coverage. We have a pretty good scoop here, even though I'm not getting like a ton of cleavage pushed into the area. And I wouldn't even really rate the support because it's not a sports bra, but if we did, very light support. To go with the bralette, I like to pair it with the soft lounge ribbed boy shorts. These are a six inch inseam lounge short. Again, Petula, always with the six inch shorts. These are definitely giving skims to me. If you've seen this little trend of having like the underwear lines, these are strictly like for home wear. So I don't really mind it as much when it's for home use. It's kind of grown on me. I will not be wearing underwear lines on my leggings. You guys know that. If I ever start accepting that, please just bring me back into reality. But for a lounge piece that you're wearing at home, these are basically like underwear that you're wearing around the house or to bed. So we just have a double thickness of the fabric for a waistband, those little underwear lines, and then six inch shorts and the same loungy fabric. And the shorts, we have a six inch short here. I definitely prefer this material in a flowier lounge type, like the pant rather than this. I feel like it's a little bit tight at the seam here. Not enough to really cut into me, but enough that I am kind of feeling it. It just feels like 
not as comfortable there. We have about a high rise, almost right to the belly button there. You have that little panel in the front, which almost gives a little extra tummy control, like right in that area. True to size, if you're in between, I'd probably size up just for this thigh. And the back is very plain, just the seam of the back there. I love that these come in a longer length. And in terms of my lounge, I am just kind of moving towards more flowy style lounge. So definitely more towards the pants. Um, maybe I would have worn like a flowy short, but this tighter style biker short, probably I won't reach for as much. So those were kind of the rest pieces. Now we're moving on to the play pieces, which are like cozy lifestyle. Let's start out with the luxe rib mock neck dress. So all of the pieces in the play portion of the collection, they are different than the lounge. The lounge was a more fine rib. These pieces are still ribbed, but they have a little bit of a different feel to them and the ribbing is a little bit wider. So here's an up close of the fabric and you can see, and you can see on the inside, it's nice and brush and soft. So I actually did wear this to dinner the other night and it was super cozy. I'm not always into the whole like activewear midi like body contrasts. This one was super comfy. So we have a mock neck. We have these flattering seams that kind of go down the front. There is a slit on the left side and full long sleeves. All right, here is the dress. And the dress, it, like this material almost feels like, like a lightweight sweater. It's just got that softness on the inside. It's a little bit thicker than the lounge pant material. And it's just so cozy. So we have the mock neck. I love the little seam detail down the front, very flattering. The slit goes up higher on the dress than it did with the skirt. The skirt was more like down here. Here it's more, you know, mid to almost upper thigh. Still, I don't feel like it's showing too much. And the overall length is a little bit shorter than the skirt in general as well. It hits me kind of right below my knees. The sleeves are long, they're a good length, but they're not too long for me. And I would say overall sizing is true to size, but if you're in between, I may size down. There's just a little bit of room for me kind of right above the butt, which is kind of a common area for me to get gaping on like one piece swimsuits, general like one piece items. So size down if in between, there's definitely a lot of stretch to go around if you do size down. But I kind of like that the small has just like a little extra fabric in places, not like skin skin tight, but there's a little bit, a little bit of movement. Like I said, I did wear this one to dinner the other night and it just feels, it's almost like a blanket. It's so soft. Then there are two different crops. I only got one of them. This is the Lux Rib open back crop. There's also the Lux Rib mock neck crop. So same material as the dress, but one of them has an open back and then the other is just a full coverage back but they do come in different color options so just keep that in mind so we have a mock neck short sleeves and it is cropped and it pairs well with the skirt that we'll try on next all right here's the crop true to size um but pretty good length on it as well it's going a couple inches below the bust and when you wear it with the skirt you're just kind of showing like a little peekaboo of the fabric we have the mock neck the sleeves are kind of almost more of a cap sleeve very short i'd say this top fits me perfectly i'd go true to size on the top still has a little bit of stretch to it as well but there's no built-in bra or any sort of support in the top so because it is a complete open back we're totally seeing my bra back there. So personally, I'd probably go with a more full coverage option so that this isn't an issue. So yeah, if you are someone who can go braless, I think the open back is super cute. I love like the little peekaboo style detail, but for me, I just know it's something I won't wear as much because I just would see the bra too much. This is the Lux ribbed midi skirt. So if the dress isn't your thing, if you prefer to have two pieces, this one also has that double thickness fabric as a waistband. It has a little slit at the side as well, and it's a midi length. All right, here's the skirt. I love the material, it's so soft. It's got the perfect amount of stretch and still kind of remains a little bit flowy. I will say for the skirt, I feel like it could be a little bit more snug for me right at the top of this waist area. I guess it kind of depends how high you're wearing it, but I think it is meant to be worn as a high rise. So if you are in between sizes, I would choose your size down. The full length of this, it goes a little bit beyond my knee, maybe like upper calf for me as a tall girly. If you're a little shorter than me, probably around mid calf. We do have a little slit that goes kind of lower thigh for me. And yeah, I love the material. I think the length is good. I think I would probably reach for the dress just a little bit more just because it's already one piece. And I liked the colors that the dress came in. I feel like the skirt only came in this black and the ivory. Yeah, sizing definitely flexible. It's very stretchy. And the last piece, this is the cropped tee. Sometimes Petula names are just so like, it is what it is, you know? Like it's a cropped tee and it's called 
the cropped tee. I have quite a few little patula crops in my collection and they are just the perfect thing to put on over your leggings if you don't really want to wear a sweatshirt or anything like that. Just like a little more coverage and a good amount of flow to it. But they also are usually longer crops as well so you're still getting a good amount of coverage. I don't usually even show any skin when I'm wearing these. I got a size small. It's a cotton spandex rayon blend. I got the gray marl color. The patula logo is on the right sleeve. Little slits kind of at the side here and sometimes Petula makes their shirts like brushed. This one is not a brushed, it's just a lightweight, almost sleeker material, but it does have stretch to it. Okay, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. I have a lot of exciting videos coming up. I just bought a new like hanging rack to organize all my future videos because we're trying to kind of come back in 2024, you know? So exciting things are coming. If you have any questions about anything launching, just let me know in the comments down below. Again, the Paragon Prism collection is launching on February 6th and the Petula Play and Rest collection is happening on Saturday, February 10th. Top picks for Paragon, definitely the Levitate Sculpt Seam Plus leggings, just so good. And Petula top picks, honestly, if I had to just choose one, those lounge pants, I could buy every color of those. They are so nice. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.